comparing numbers where the number of digits are equal. So let's say I give you three numbers, okay? And these numbers are 4, 3, 6, 9, 4, 3, 9, and 5, 2, 6, 9. And I tell you to find out which is the greatest number. How do you find it out? I told you in the first video, which you saw before this, that whenever the number of digits are different, here we are taking that the number of digits are equal. Okay, I'll come to this in a little while. Whenever the number of digits are different, we just find out how many digits are there. So let's say in this, there are how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here there are 1, 2, 3. Here again 1, 2, 3, 4. So whenever the number of digits are different, so let's say if I had to compare only these two, right? I would say here I have four digits, here I have three digits. Since the number of digits is more in this number, 4369 is greater, right? But my problem aggravates because, or my problem increases because of the fact that in this particular given case, both 4369 and 5269 have equal number of digits. So the number of digits are basically equal. In that case, how do you find out which is a bigger number, right? Now, if you look at these two, okay, let me put it like this, 4, 3, 6, 9. So the best thing to do is put these numbers together aligned with each other. So let's say first four digits came here. Similarly, 5, 2, 6, 9, 5, 2, 6, 9, right? And then what you can do is you start comparing the digits starting from left to right. And why is the reason? Why do you do it from left to right? So I've told you from left to right. The reason is that in any given number, so let's say if we talk about 4, 3, 6, 9, this is the units place or ones place. This is the tens place. This is the hundreds place. This is the thousands place. Now, as we move from right to left here, the value of that place increases. So while this is ones, this is 10 and tens are de definitely greater than ones. Similarly, in this one, if I just compare these two, 100 is greater than 10, right? If you have to find out which is the greater number of these two, then the one whose left hand digit is greater will be the bigger one. So let's say if I start from left to right, so left to right will be moving like this. So the first number that I have is 4 and 5, right? And this is the thousands place, right? Which one of these two numbers is greater? 5, okay? So therefore, the number whose first digit is greater. In this case, what I did was I moved from left to right. I compared the first digit because 5 is greater than 4. What that means is that in 5, which is 5269, 5269 has to be greater than, has to be greater than 4369. For the simple reason that this is the thousandth place that we have, right? What 5 represents is 5000. What 4 represents is 4000. And definitely we know that 5000 is more than 4000. So effectively this number has to be greater than this. But let me give you another number over here. So let's say for example, if I say that I also have 5. Okay, let me not confuse you with this one. Let me take another example. So let's say for example, if I have to tell you, can you find out which number is greater 5269 or 5342? How will you compare this? If I just follow what I told you earlier, I will just write 5269 first, 5269 and then I will write 5342. 
So I told you to compare from left to right. If I take the left one first, which is these two, what do I see? Both of them are equal. Right? So I cannot decide by using these two numbers as to which one is the give greater one. But I have been told I have to move from left to right. So what I will do is that the moment I see that both these numbers are equal, I will jump on to the next one. And then I will compare the next two numbers. So in this case, we have two here and three here. Obviously, we know three is more than two, right? Therefore, it follows that necessarily five, three, four, two would be greater. So you follow the same procedure unless and until you reach you. So let's say, for example, if instead of two, you had three over here. Again, this wouldn't have told us which one is greater. We would have jumped to the third position. So you keep on moving from left to the right until you reach a situation when the, on comparing these two numbers, one is greater than the other. And whichever one is the greater, that is the larger number. Right? I hope this would have been a good understanding for you. Thank you for being with us today.